Raised in Bristol, Connecticut throughout the 1950s, Keith LeBlanc watched as bands like the Beatles took over the music industry. Having watched Ringo Starr perform on television, that moment caused LeBlanc to start playing the drums. And that fascination carried him to a prosperous career in music as he performed with bands like Little Axe and Tackhead. He also worked alongside hit bands like Nine Inch Nails, although turning his love for music into a career that spanned four decades. News broke that LeBlanc sadly passed away. Making the announcement, LeBlanc's label On You Sound shared the heartbreaking news on their website. All of us at On You Sound are heartbroken to share the news that the great Keith LeBlanc has passed away. Taking a moment to describe the type of person LeBlanc was, On You Sound labeled him an incredible drummer, producer, and musical maverick he will be hugely missed. Also sharing a message from record producer Adrian Sherwood, he praised LeBlanc, writing, Keith was a major, major talent, incredible drummer, producer, and musician, along with Doug Skip and also dearly missed Mark Stewart. We enjoyed some of the most creative times together that shaped my musical life. Thank you, Brother Keith. Love forever, heart and soul. Besides being a record producer, LeBlanc also worked with numerous hit singers like Rolling Stones, Robert Palmer, Sinead O'Connor, Tina Turner, and Annie Lennox. Back in 2023, LeBlanc discussed working with Lennox. He told Burning Ambulance, Annie Lennox, she was really cool too. She's a real singer. A lot of singers have to punch in things and get auto-tuned in but she would go in the studio, just nail it right there with the musicians. So there was a lot of collaboration there. She left room for that. She was really open and nice, really honest, you know. When it comes right down to it, for something to be really good, it's got to be really honest. It can't be fake good. It's got to be actual good, and Annie left room for that. As for his work with Turner, apparently, he never got the chance to meet her. He admitted, Tina Turner, I never even got to meet. I just did the drum tracks because I don't think she was too well at the time. I didn't get a chance to meet her, which I would have liked to, but I got a chance to meet a lot of my heroes, and they never disappointed me, you know, usually. <laughs>